Hey YouTube, I just watched this video and it's about a woman shaking her ass. I'm so tired of seeing that up and down my Facebook timeline, man. Right, that really get on my goddamn nerves, to be honest, man. All right, shorty, that's all you got. You know what I'm saying? It's, you got you, you thick. Okay, I see you got a little ass. But like, about hundreds of thousands of females got a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? So I'm an ass man. I love a woman with a fat ass. That, that's, that's what I am. But in the same time, though, you know, at 32, that, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying, I used to do that, you know what I'm saying, fuck a female and for, you know what I'm saying, just because of the way that she looks sassy, got a fat ass with no stomach and all that shit, though. At 32, you've been through all that shit, you get to seeing past that shit, like, what you got, like, what you do, you know what I'm saying? If that's all you advertising, is you shaking your ass, you got a nice little frame that you pay for, or you grown as natural, like, shorty, that's it? You know what I'm saying? That's it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, a, 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 I had the, the female I just broke up recently, said, I cook and I clean, and, you know, I do that. I said, you know what? Every female I've been with, cook and clean. You know what I'm saying? The, the problem I have with females, and I'm talking about past relationships and going to the future. A problem I have with that is that you think you should be uh, objectified or, you know, I try to use a big word, but I didn't know what the fuck that mean. But you, you think you should be glorified to the point that, oh, man, I cook and clean and take care of my own shit. The shit you're supposed to do. I mean, like, damn. I should glorify you for you doing what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And I had that. I have that a lot. With every fucking relationship. Like, damn, you are happy with doing the things you're supposed to fucking do. Like, that don't make no fucking sense. And then you, and then a lot of females talking about, oh, well, I got, well, you ain't gonna find another female with a fat ass like mine. I said, you know what? You're fucking right. I might as well be a fucking alone. Then what you think you? Because you got a little body on you? Do you think I'm supposed to, you know, bend over backwards and be helping you out? Like, damn, shorty, you really got to up your standards. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I, I, I told the last girlfriend, I told the other girls every fucking time. With me, I'm looking beyond that. And then they get confused. I, once you get confused when I say that shit, it's time for me to fucking break up with you. You know what I'm saying? I, I learned that shit, Joe. I swear to God, I learned that shit. That's, how, that's what the other girl only last three weeks. Because once she got confused, like, what? Like, she said, he said, oh, he said I got this. And she want to pay, pay this, pay that, pay that. I said, no, I'm not that type of guy. I just, I don't want nothing from you. I just want you to love me. That's it. And I like, I'm going to love you. We got, we're going to have that communication. That's my foundation. Out of that, on the, the stepping stones of my foundation is communication. Because stepping stones be loyal. Because the stepping stones be there for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? And then females, and then when, when, the, when the female don't understand the situation, like, man, uh, baby girl, um, just be loyal to me like I'm going to be loyal to you or love me. And I asked him a question. Like, she said, damn, what you want in this relationship? I said, just love me. And she said, damn, what you mean you got to clarify that shit? I said, damn, I got to clarify what the fuck to mean to love me? Damn. Right? Don't play these tick-for-tack games. Uh, actually, don't play those games at all. Every, our relationship is about we're going to have fun. Because uh, I'm a silly motherfucker. If you know me, I always joke and I always laugh and I always play games. and like, Not play games like that, but I play games as a family, as a unit. Don't be on some... Oh, I don't trust you. You too good to be true. I, I got to check your phone and stick up behind me because that kills a relationship with me fast. You know what I'm saying? That's with any man. Nobody want to be creeped up on and checking their phones and doing all this shit. Like you, like you, my my parole officer or my, my probation officer or some shit. No, baby girl. I'm going to be, I told you, I already know me and you, we, we, you decide and I decide we're going to be in a relationship. We should not be fighting over... Like, the girl before her was, she didn't trust me. And it, I didn't understand that. If I work, I'm on the road from Monday through Friday, and I'm at home with you, and I'm showing you all this shit, shorty, don't do that. The last girlfriend was, she was more sneaky than anything. She tried to play me to the left, like, you know, trying to show me out from her ex-boyfriends and all that shit. And I don't need all that because I know that niggas get jealous. Niggas do this, do that, do this, and that, and the other. 
So I was like, Shorty, you know what I'm saying? I told her about it. She didn't change. When she didn't change, I just saw that's a red flag. And then, she, and then all of them, including everybody I've been with, and they all do the same shit. Like, they, all of them could cook. All of them could clean. I don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been single and all now. I can take care of my motherfucker self. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow because I'm tired of this shit right here. Well, I will get my hair cut tomorrow. And I was trying to tell these jokers, like, shorty, I don't need all that. I can take care of myself. I can do my own laundry. I can cook myself. I got money. I can, say, I can do it myself. But at the same time... What's your status is? Are you trying to do better for the future? All of them say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to school because I want to do this, do that, do that, and the other. But at the same time, and I look at you, I'll be, be with you for a while, and I see your ashes, and I see your, see, what I look at in a relationship, I can see you. I'm with you. I like you. If I'm with you, and I just see you with my girlfriend, I like you. But I look at yo, the company you keep. Because the company you keep, let it be known, is who you are. Let's go from male to female. You got fat, dumbass friends, you the cis, dumbass friend. Trust me. If you got fat, successful friends, you the cis, successful friends. You got cis, uh, fat drug addicts, you a fucking drug addict. Drug addict, kick with drug addicts, but, um, eagles, like, I, I'm going to say like this. Drug addicts, kick with drug addicts. Eagles fly with eagles. You know what I'm saying? Eagles fly with eagles. Eagles don't fly with no motherfucking, uh, no pigeons. You know what I'm saying? No, no turkeys. You know what well, turkeys? Turkeys cannot fly. Chickens cannot fly. But pigeons, pigeons and seagulls, they don't fly with them. They eat them, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Be honest. Like, so I looked at her. Like, I looked at all every, every my baby mama, my girlfriends behind her, all of them, all their surroundings, and I look at all of them. I say, you know what? They all working dead end ass jobs. They all not going to school. They all. Um, they all of them the same, you know what I'm saying? So I said I gotta. It was just like, why? So it's to the point that it's not her, it's me. Why I choose her to be with her? This this is my type. That a motherfucker that say they want to go to school but don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I I, I look at like I look at all this like that. Oh, I ain't go to college and all that shit. I say you gonna decide to go to college? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be this and that that and other. I said okay, we can make that happen. But when I saw looking at all her friends and they all want to smoke weed, they all want to get drunk and all this stupid shit. Well, all of them want, want hood niggas and they start looking at me because I'm on a the band. They said oh yeah, you a hood nigga too. I said oh no, I'm not. I'm not a hood nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I used to be that nigga. And I tell him the my past experience. Like, yeah, you a hood nigga. I said, no. I'm telling you because I, I used to be that nigga. Right now, I am not. But right now, I'm looking for bigger and better things in my life. I got a son. My son got to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? I got to do that for him. You know what I'm saying? It's not just me no more. It is me, it's just him. It's me and him. You know what I'm saying? And, perf and more perfectly, it's him. It's all him. I said, that's the reason. I said, half of the time I said, the YouTube videos, I don't really want it. I didn't want to do that shit. I said, but, you know, I'm saying, I said, I just, I said, I said, I said, I didn't want to do YouTube videos, but it was him. And so they said, with, with him, he's going to look back at my life. And then there's other people, too. I got to make YouTube videos for them, too. I said, I know a lot of people is giving up hope. And I said, you know, I gave up hope, too. So I just want them, like, okay, you know what I'm saying? This is how this nigga did this shit. You know what I'm saying? He had a home invasion. They tried to get him 15 years in the penitentiary. But he didn't. He did, he got about that, got on probation. You know what I'm saying? He got on probation, and then, you know what I'm saying? I did six months in the pen, you know, at Menard. But in, anyway, in the, in the penitentiary. But, you know, as I got with that, got on probation with parole, whatever you want to call it. And then, you know what I'm saying? I ain't did shit, 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 shit really shit then, since then until now until I got to this little bullshit. You know, I got a little misdemeanors here, here and there. You know, I kind of slip up with my, I got control of my emotions a little bit better. Now I just, I, yeah, I really control my emotions. But, let's say, I can get my commotions down, pack, get on that truck and start doing what I need to do for niggas and my son. You know what I'm saying? Period. But I see females like that and I'd be like, damn, I don't want to go back into that, you know, that go back into that little environment. You know what I'm saying? I did that shit. You know what I'm saying? I did, I did, I did all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I did all that game banging shit. I did all that selling drugs shit and all that little, little stupid shit. And it, I landed in jail. It's death or it's death. It's being homeless, death or that's it. That's it. Or prison. Homeless, death or prison. That's it. That's all it is. Is it so? It's like you know. What I'm saying. I know I got all time, but this is this, this is coming from pouring it from my heart. That's like this shit. That's why I'm calling this shit from my heart because I can't stay on topic for shit. I put in this a long time ago, but um, 
that's all I'm saying. That's like, damn, I did all that shit for some females. I, I said, I did with her, and she just wanted a hood nigga. I said, you know what? You find a hood nigga, you find that nigga that sell drugs. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not it. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I'm not going to, I, I, I. I graduated from that point. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a whole nother point. This all this shit right here. Yeah, you know, and I want to say this before I, I end this fucking video. People ask God, be careful what you ask God for. And I just want to say you that right now from the bottom of my heart. Because I pray to God, I want to do better in my life. I remember that shit right with my uh, girl I thought I loved left me for another guy. And I pray to God, I remember that day because I was crying my eyeballs out. And I said, I pray to God, I said, I want to do better in my life. I want to find a woman that's better for me. You know what I'm saying? And then also, I want to get rich and help people. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of homeless people. I know I've been in their predicament. Be careful what you ask for. Because this shit, because God going to push you through the ringer. A change is never easy. Once you used to shit that you always been, the, 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 the shit you used to always been, the changes is never easy in life. I'm telling you that right now. Change, changes is never easy in life. So it's like, so God put me on it. All right. So when I prayed that shit, I got arrested. And then, no, I, when I prayed that shit, I've been single for seven months. The hardest shit in my work. Because I was jumping down. I, I didn't like you. I'm going to another relationship. It's somebody going to be perfect for me. So I've been single for, that was new. Been single all that time. Then I got arrested. Now I'm on house arrest, and I'm still. I got. I got had a girlfriend. I had two girlfriends of all time on house arrest, and then, but I, it's three weeks here, three weeks there, and because it's some shit I don't like. Because it's like when you pray for some, God gonna grant that prayer. God is. And that's one thing I know right now, and I learned God listens to all prayers. So when I learned that, I was like, damn. I said, it's some shit I don't like, I left to leave the relationship. Some shit I don't like, I don't want to leave the relationship. And I give you a chance. I was trying to let you... Something burning. That ain't my shit. Hope that ain't my shit burning. But, like, some shit on fire. We don't see shit on fire, but this shit get the smoke. I'm getting the fuck out of here. All my shit gonna be gone. I'm mad as hell, though. That shit gonna blow the fuck out of me. I don't cry. I'm gonna leave the crowd and put it on YouTube and cry like a motherfucker. I burnt my shit on some stupid shit. But anyway, see my shit... Burn on like that. Please, ain't this bad big as hell? I don't want to do my shit burning like this. It's all my important shit, all my truck driver shit. Because when I get back on the road, I need this shit when I'm for my truck driving shit. But anyway, before I end this video, be careful what you be careful, be careful what you pray for. Because God answers all prayers, but He answered in a way that it's going to change you. I'm talking about it's this. I would stay with the the, th the two girls I've been with. The first girl I've been with, because I've been lonely for a long time, I was stuck with her. And they already been through some, been through, been going through the ringer, been going through some shit. The second girl I've uh, been with, I would stay with her. You know what I'm saying? But I've been already going through the ringer, find out all type of crazy shit she's going through, and just find out this bitch nuts. Probably got her pregnant, uh, all cop kind of crazy shit. But when God changed you, He changed you for real. It's like you ain't going to be able to tolerate certain shit no more. You're just going to be looking at the female like, boy, guy, whatever you you, you prefer. And you can be looking at them like, man, I, I, I'm cool single because I can't deal with the situation of doing this again. Because God, I, something, this voice, it will be having a little voice on your shoulder like, nah, dog, just be single. Be single. God got something for you. Something better for you. Something better for you. I ain't going to say, I ain't going to say no, no female is better than the next. But I'm going to say God got something better for you. You know what I'm saying? This is this one is not it. You know what I'm saying? So it could be a little voice. And it it was like for three weeks I've been with her, that shit was getting louder and louder. Like, get the fuck away from her. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna fall back into the same situation you was in. And then like it's that voice. And I said, look, I I we might as well just be friends. He got me blocked on, on all kinds of crazy shit. But it is you know, I ain't I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping on that. I don't got her blocked on nothing. But, you know, you know, it's coming from somewhere else. I see the smoke. Somebody on fire. God damn, somebody on fire. Somebody got high and went to sleep. Or smoked some rocks and went to sleep and burnt their shit up on some, on some high tweaking shit. Damn, that shit stank strong as hell. I'm so happy it ain't my shit, though. But whoever shit is that, man, they say shit smoking. I don't want to call the laws because it might be somebody probably be barbecuing and shit. I call the laws on their ass. Like, damn, who called the laws? You know, they ain't know how niggas be. So, um,. Yeah, but be careful what you pray for. 
So I'm finna name this shit by coming out my heart. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Uh, oh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. I gotta keep saying that shit. I gotta say that in my beginning of my video. So, all right. Um, have a blessed day.